QDN or Queenslanders with Disability Network, as the name implies, is a network of people. Um, it's run by people with disability for people with disability. And it does two main things. It does syst uh, systemic advocacy. Uh, we talk to um, governments mostly, uh, but also um, business and, and other organisations about issues that are important to people with disability. And the other thing we do is individual capacity building. Uh, and that again is where this, this PCEP thing comes into it, about building people's capacity to, um, to cope in an emergency situation like, like mine. For me, the, uh, the planning process was quite funny. Um, I was working with somebody in Brisbane who's taking me through it, doing the same thing that I'm doing now with other people. So I sat down and I thought, what kind of disasters can befall me? And I thought, right, the only two things I have to deal with is a fire or a flood or a cyclone. That's it. So I did all that. I thought I had this brilliant plan. You know, the world's going to end, I'll be fine. So the person I was working with got on the phone one day and she said, oh, that sounds good. What would you do if there was a fire in your kitchen? And I went, I'd put it out, obviously. And she said, well, what with? I said, a blanket. And she said, have you got a fire retardant blanket? No. You got a fire extinguisher? No. Do you know whether there is a fire extinguisher or a fire hose? No. <laughs> Just completely skipped over the, the small things that can go horribly wrong in favour of, you know, world-ending disasters, basically. But because it's a systematic thing and you've got somebody working with you, um, people, the person working with you can prompt you and say, well, what if there is a fire in the kitchen? And when I say you know, my brilliant plan to, to get around it, which obviously doesn't work, they would have you know, pulled me up on that. The feedback that I've gotten is um, they're surprised. A lot of people have been surprised about how much is in it how much they hadn't thought of, you know, and how to think through it. I mean, what, what are the things that you have to think through? Yeah, I think people are more comfortable now thinking it through, um, more prepared, which is excellent, uh, for what, for what they, that could reasonably um, happen to them. So.